Hello and welcome to Festo Live today. My name is Frank and uh, we want to show you with Dino together. Hi, together. The tri wall sanding and the big topic Planex. Yes. And uh, Dino, the new Planex, we launched it in October, 1st yes. of October. Yep. And maybe we have some, yeah. Uh, experience from 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 you how how we sell that of course and maybe some questions and uh, from the end customer of course and also maybe also uh, uh, answers comments, from you yeah. and comments from you so when you have also buy the new Planex please send us some uh, questions and then we can give you an answer but now yes we won't go a little bit deeper and maybe you have some uh, yeah uh, yeah information about it yeah the comments what comes in of the new plan x2 they was really really nice yeah i have to say yeah. okay why because we have so good new features inside the okay. plan x2 that it's amazing to work with this <laughs> you will see it you will okay. see it for sure we start step by step so that yes. uh, people who don't know the new plan x that they understand a little bit what is what is perfect what is nice yeah. on that tool so uh from my understanding dino he's the painter he's a pro professional in that way from my understanding when you send that surface here yes. uh, what is important to know so normally of course uh more and more the people they have these kind of uh, oh i have a sample here these kind of uh, oh lights no, here. Oh no, you show <laughs> the baddest <laughs> light what you can build in, uh, up and down light. Up and down light, you know what he mean? Oh. That is exactly the issue. When I look here on that wall, it looks perfect. more more or less perfect. They're really yeah. nice. But when you have these kind of lights, uh -huh. then you will find a lot of issues on the wall. And this is exactly what a lot of people have on his houses, small, unevenness, uh, scratches, and so on. And that is, I think, exactly the point in which way you, you, you sand that, because you cannot do that in this way, you sand and, and, and light. Oh. Yes, Frank, but I have to do that at the moment. Why? Because we have our long neck sander and we have our light. Yeah. So what that means, I have to go normally with my light against the wall, yeah. I have to control it, I have to make some marks where yeah. I have to send more yeah. or lesser and then I have to begin to Ooh. send and this costs a lot of time. I believe it, I believe it. But Frank, I'm here today because I want to show <laughs> you <laughs> a perfect solution for this problem. Okay. <laughs> At first, what is a long neck sender? Yeah. I ask that yeah, stupid yeah, question right, right. because sometimes there are some guys who is asking what is that? Mm -hmm. A long neck sender is like this year, like the Planex, we call it Planex. It's a sanding tool with a long neck, mm -hmm. so I can sand perfect walls and also ceilings. Mm -hmm. I will show you later when you have higher ceilings, how you can adjust the Planex mm -hmm. for your right highness. So tri wall and also plastered wall. Yeah, perfect ceilings, mm -hmm. you can sand everything. Okay. Also when you have wallpaper mm -hmm. rests on the wall, no but problem. now back to this, uh, to this problem, to this application, to the issue. <laughs> Frank, you see that? Yeah. That was the past. Okay. A normal long neck sender. Yeah. With no lights. Yeah. So you 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 need this control light yeah. all the time. Yeah. And but now? now show, I show you <laughs> what is new. Go to the wall. What is new? I Nothing is new. I turn on my power, <laughs> my dust extractor, and now, ah, whoa, you can see it. Yeah, you see everything here. Yes. This this is clever, really clever. This is perfect now. Why? Because we have our control light directly in the head of our new Planex. This is really, really nice. So we can see. Maybe you can show that again, yeah, where, sure. where this is. So you switch it on, the camera can yes. catch that. So here, on. Ah, wow, wow. Off. These are LED lights? Yes, that's okay. a LED light, LED ring. Wow. 
perfect. So you, really you see it. every scratch, every yeah, yeah, unevenness yeah. during the wall, during sanding. And this means lesser rework. Yeah, Why? Sure. Because I can see my mistakes or the mistakes in the wall immediately. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is clever, really clever. So this is the first new point that I want to show okay, you today. And, and, and the next point is yeah. I, I saw before you start, you, uh, you 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 do something here on that uh, on that machine comes a little bit later for that. Yeah, it comes this the third point. That one. This is third point. The third point gives Doesn't me a matter. little bit time, <laughs> but also we can do it now. Okay, it's not a problem. So, when we have a closer look here, yeah, you see two symbols. You see a ceiling symbol, and you see a wall symbol. Right. So, it's that easy to adjust now. Because for, wha for what do you need that symbol? When you want to sir, send against the wall, yeah. you go to the wall symbol. Why I have to adjust that? Because our Planex have a vacuum function. Ah, uh -huh. I, I know it from the from the previous model. Perfect. And uh, so on that point, I can adjust it ceiling or, or wall. wall. Because as you know, the the pre model. The, the the vacuum was perfect, but the adjustment was sometimes a little okay. bit tricky. So can you show me what is sure. the issue? So when when I when I not really right adjust, maybe I, I adjust it for the for the seal position, yeah, and then, then I send on the wall. I will show what, you. What is what is? is, is I put it now on the ceiling. Yeah. Symbol, and now you will see what okay. happened. <laughs> now go on, go on the seal. Let me show. Yeah. I'll show you on the ceiling. There is really perfect. Because now. <laughs> oh, ah. Okay. You see? Yes. So at first. It's really, 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 really important. Yeah. At first. I answer the question uh, what you are why you ask what is when I put it on the wrong yeah. direction or yeah, on yeah, the wrong yeah, position. Yeah. Do you see how much pressure is on it? When we now use a really soft plaster, we have really bad marks inside the wall because the pressure it's is a too strong high. vacuum yes. on the wall. Yes. Mm -hmm. For the ceiling it's perfect because the weight from the right. planics push the planics down. Mm -hmm. So here we need the power to suck it on, on, the on the ceiling on the seal. and it's really perfect. But you <laughs> see what happens when the AC function yeah. comes, it lose for A seconds, milliseconds. for milliseconds, yeah, it lose the vacuum. But doesn't matter, you, you know that one time and or you see that one time and, and then, then you uh, regularize you know that it. and then you know it. But keep it in your mind yeah, right. that every time when the AC function comes, you have to hold for a millisecond, the planet. Right, but of course, this is this is really important. Uh, before we come to the next point, uh, you tell me that you sand the surface here yes. on the wall, and um, you have it adjusted now for the right vacuum system yeah. that I have enough uh, suction on the wall or on yes. the seal here. I go back to but the um, in which way you can make this really softly or, or smooth surface because. Normally, I know when we work with a uh, long neck sander, yes. they have uh, a, a rotation system, and this is sometimes not so so nice, a little bit rough, more yes, or less. Perfect. You can work with with different uh, uh, sand um, grid sizes, uh, abrasives, yeah. of course. But here, this is this is really amazing how how smooth is that surface? Because also that we changed. What you say. And rotation movement mm -hmm. is really aggressive. Mm -hmm. So I have to play with my grid sides of my abrasives mm -hmm. to create a really perfect mm -hmm. surface. But the problem is that the plaster is getting softer and softer. Right. And so we said, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, to yeah. create a perfect surface in lesser time, mm -hmm. we built in an eccentric movement. Cool. It's the same what we have on our ETS EC. On the small one. On the small one. And now you have a, a, a perfect combination, eccentric sanding, long neck sander for long, big surfaces. Perfect. We have a stroke of four millimeter. Mm -hmm. That's really How rough. looks like the stroke four millimeter? I will show you that. Just a moment, the camera will catch that. Yes, you can see these holes. Yeah. So, 
I will turn it on and then you will see what happened. Look at the holes. Ah. No, you have little circles. Four millimeter circle. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And this was this was the stroke what we generate with our planics. Four millimeter. Perfect. So eccentric uh, movement and in the totally, of course, a little bit rotation, a rotation for. Yeah. Yeah, for for a much nicer surface, like yeah. on the on the uh, smaller one yeah, fifty hand hand Perfect. Center. It's right. the same. Cool. Sending movement. This is really clever. So light. Light. We have eccentric sanding for really nice surface, Faces. and last but not least, really helpful for my neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These uh, vacuum system. Yeah. Also for, for your shoulders. For shoulders, etc. Yeah. Uh, Perfect. Uh, let us look a little bit closer to this uh, tool. That means we have here sometimes higher seals. Yeah. And uh, in which way I can make that? That's uh. a good question. Also here, you maybe you know it from the pre-model mm -hmm. that we can extend it or reduce it. Okay. But also now we keep it really simple and also that you don't lose time. When you want to extend it, you open this green knob. You see what happened? Nothing, because it's fixed. First, when you put the green knob to the end point, you can remove it. Can you hold it just for yep. a second? Thank you. Now, you have your extensioner. You can build in maximum two extensioner. One comes with the delivery, the second one is optional. Why not more? Because <laughs> <laughs> after the planex gets too heavy, and the vacuum don't sure, hold anymore sure, the sure, weight sure. and also you you don't will send with three or four extensions <laughs> that's <laughs> not possible <laughs> so now you put it together you close the knob uh, easy fixed and can you show in the camera sure. these uh, small things inside maybe the camera can switch yes and we want to do that a little bit uh, yep yeah so you see two channels. Yeah. One extraction channel. Okay. And one power channel. Ah, okay. And okay. they are not together because ah. the the dust what we create is abrasive. Cool. And then can yeah, happen yeah. when the when the power yeah. will also have the same channel like yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I the abrasive I like the abrasive material. Yeah. It will destroy. So we have two channels for the extraction and for the power. Power. Perfect. So you can connect it together? Yes. Also this the handle here. and push uh, it together. Close it. Yeah. And now we have our long version. Cool. When you have really high ceilings. Can you uh, sure. can you show us? Sure. I will. So I adjust it for the seal? Yeah, for the ceiling symbol, right? Now I and turn then it on. Maybe you turn a little bit. Also this way it's not a possible. <laughs> and and no dust. Huh? This is also amazing. You have you have no dust <laughs> and normally everything is full with dust when yeah. you do that uh, kind of work. It's really really <laughs> nice and you see also with the extension we have enough suction power that the weight is yeah. holding on the ceiling. It's really that's perfect that's really and nice. nice. Tell me more about this handle. I see yes. a lot of uh, special things there. Maybe the camera can catch that also. Uh, so bring it in that position that you have always in the back, these uh, so white. We can see the new handle. Yeah. Now we have T? a T-handle, yes. Mm -hmm. For what we have this T-handle? The T-handle is much better. <laughs> Looks like a paddle. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's like a paddle yeah, because yeah. you can put more power on it. Okay. So when you have high ceilings, it's perfect to push the planix up or also when you are sanding walls, it's much more you easier want to, go a little bit this way? Yes. to hold the planix in this way. Cool. So better handling, perfect. Also what we can see there here. There are two holes on the side. Yes. We switch the camera. So you want to bring that a little bit in the other like position. This. So that you are not black here. Yes, that's better. So here you can see two holes also on the other side. Yeah. 
and you can see perfectly this yeah a host connector clip. Or adapter or something yeah it's a host clip okay it's also in the included in the delivery for content what? for what that's a good question huh? we can connect our hose here and now everyone knows that ah. we sends a lot of ceilings it's always guided so the hose is, is guided and you cannot in 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 in, in collision with, with with the hoses and the perfect hand. because the hose yeah. don't rub against your right. hand back i understand it's cool and it's a way so when you send ceilings <laughs> you can see it perfectly no wire no hose is disturbing perfect yeah looks looks good looks good yeah other points other here points? on the on the front maybe yes. you can bring that also a little bit more on the camera we go here i put it on the ground i remove it mm -hmm. so at first i want to show the new connections mm -hmm. from the hose and from the wire but this is the same dust extractor hoses like in the past yeah where we have in the the hose yeah. we don't change yeah it's the same but we change the position yeah we put it under and not on the back yeah also the wire because yeah. when we like put that one the hand like this year on I the understand. back side the wire and the hose don't will destroy right, it right yes right. but we have more things when we look here we have three buttons mm -hmm. uh, on and off button mm -hmm. light uh -huh. that means we can control the light from here from the handle it yes. goes on when i turn it on automatically mm -hmm. but when i want to switch it off because it's too bright yeah right or right. i want to switch it on again mm -hmm. i have here my button on off and the third button was bluetooth connection ah because this is a tool who have iot function so you can connect it with uh, with my iphone when i have an app Perfect. The work app the festival work app yes I can also with it. android no problem Perfect. yes yes we can connect it and then you have all the data yeah. on your iPhone, on your Android phone, that what you use and you can control FAQs, you can read it, you can have a look when there is some problem like a overheat protection, and what is comes to do. A, 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 a classic push, a push uh, notification. Perfect, yes. Super, yes. And you can read it. Ah, also, cool. you can control your light via your mobile. Ah, okay. And you have a dim function. So I can adjust it before. Perfect. Super. And this all really clever. <laughs> with your <laughs> iPhone or with your Android. Where phone. is the motor? <laughs> That's a good question. What do you think? So I, I'm from Festo. I, I know that there is here, <laughs> but here you think this is also a little bit uh, a motor. Is is that two motors inside? No. This is the electric. Only electric? All the electric it's here inside. Okay. And our motor is here. You can do that yes. in the camera. It's here now. We have a direct engine. Yeah. And it's a brushless. Brushless motor. Cool. So for our application, perfect. Why? Because we don't have carbons inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's maintenance free mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and powerful. Enough power for that kind of yes. application. Yes. But Dino, you know, our customer ask always, can I use it also for floors? We don't recommend it. Yeah, yeah. We absolutely. don't recommend it to use it on the floor because you put too much weight on it when you are working yeah, on the floor. Yeah, yeah, too much pressure. So it's not yeah. recommended from so our side. This long leg sander is perfect for walls, for dry walls, for seals. Yeah, for but plastic please walls. Don't do that. On don't work on the yes uh, floor we don't can recommend it sorry for cool that. no no that it's uh, good um, information for for so our Frank, clients so what i do now when i don't need it at the moment because i have to do some S other things we, we talked the, <laughs> the whole time so yeah do you have a solution for that yes when you see our dust extractor so we bring it a little bit in, in front yes like here okay we have a perfect tool holder, a holder. yes yeah and this looks pretty good Ah, we can put our planics cool. there. You can change the the abrasives yes. really easy because also the abrasive finds the place here. Yeah, yeah. What we need, yeah. so we can have a look of two abrasives, or we are using net, 
or we are using paper. So we recommend to use a net when you work with really abrasive materials and really soft plaster mm -hmm. because the extraction, yeah, it's much more better yeah, because yeah. I have the extraction on the complete surface. Mm -hmm. But also you need a lot of times also the paper and it's also the customer decides small what he... Small question, there is, there is different colors. Is there uh, another uh, sand abrasive or, or, or no that's uh, now a 180 ah. and that is a 240 so the finer versions are a little bit darker yes they they change I a understand. little bit but it's only about the grid size okay. but the performance of the sanding paper is always the same okay. granite okay. is granite Gra granite paper yeah so cool. before you ask me are they fitting <coughs> both on our pad Yes. It's possible. I it's need not an intermediate pad or a protective no. pad or something you else. You can put it direct on the planex. How does it work? I will show Start you that. Uh, you remove the old ah, one. Ah, cool. And then? And then? You put only the net on it, the new one. Perfect. And that was it. This is really clever. Yes. And uh, when I see that in the right way, you can also maybe... Uh, change that then it's maybe damaged isn't it sure you have here the eight screws mm -hmm. you can open it with a screw from that mm -hmm. or with a new yeah, or yeah. with a two cent ten cent yeah piece right on the top coin. side yeah. yeah you have a coin you open it and you change it but yeah the lifetime of this pad yeah <laughs> when we speak of <laughs> lifetime normally we said the planex have a lifetime for more of 700 Oof, hours this is a much it's a huge and we say the pad have a lifetime of 350 hours so the oh. half so okay. you need to change it normally two times in your life <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, good to hear nice sound good so now we talk about the planet sander yes. we talk about the dust extractor uh, the hoses but now let us talk about the dust extractor that's really and important for yes. my understanding i think you can use um all these uh, AC dust extractors, is it right? That's or can totally I use right. also uh, a standard dust extractor from our range or from competitor range? No, no. Why, n why not? We need an AC extractor, what you say. What does it mean, AC? AC means it's auto clean function. Ah, okay. In our dust extractors, every 10 seconds the main filter will be clean. Ca can we, can we sure. show that? We go in the camera a little bit on the side. Yes. Uh, and 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 can you put put it on or, or um, I open switch it. it on? That we hear it again or you can show it. Yes. Okay. First, that's a good thing. I will show you. Okay. You hear it? Y you hear it and you see it yeah. because the whole the whole housing yes. from that uh, vacuum system goes up and. But that was the normal. Mm -hmm. Uh, cleaning. Mm -hmm. We also have intensive cleaning and that I recommend really every hour when you are using really soft plasters. Yeah. And for this you can this is this is the this is the system that you can close when you're transporting. <laughs> the <laughs> most of the guys <laughs> said that. Yeah, that's totally right. That's a really nice benefit, but not the main point. Okay. The main point is for intensive cleaning. Now you will hear what happens when I close that. I close it. Yeah. Look at the housing. Because <laughs> when I close that, yeah. it's the same when you do when you do it at home with your dust extractor. When something is in the, hose, in the hose, you close, close the it. front, and the, the the pressure gets higher. I understand. And also we can do that, but we do it here because we don't want to remove the hose always yeah. from the tool. Yeah. Okay, so that means AC function. Yes. And uh, I heard something about the classes. Yes. Uh, and is there also something different? Because normally when I, when I work with, with from the from the wooden side, yeah. I have these uh, standard filter bags. You yeah. know, these you have here a sample. I have a sample. So I these will filter bags like this. Can I use that also here now on that no. AC? No. No, I no. Don't <laughs> recommend it. Sorry to say <laughs> it always again. No, no. Why? Because this produce a lot of problems. We have I, here I have no problems when I use this with yeah, my wood. Because your wooden chips are big. So oh they oh don't close. Yeah, but they are not so fine. So do you mean the like mineral, mineral dust? dust? This is much finer and close to pores. Right, okay. because we have here some fleece layers. 
and the fleas have some little pores. Mm -hmm. And the dust, the mineral mm -hmm, dust, mm -hmm. is so fine mm -hmm. that he will close the pores. And then and after 20, 25 minutes, the extraction goes down mm -hmm. and you stand in the dust. And so that is please why I see don't use it. And that is why I see here this, uh, this kind of disposal bag. Yes, I will open it. Yep. You can see it. At first, what you want I want to show is the filter is... Main filter. The main filter yeah. is complete clean. Yeah. Because yeah. the auto clean cleans it up. Yeah. And totally right what you say, we have here a disposal bag. Mm -hmm. And, and inside in this disposal bag, I, yeah. I, I show you with my with my uh, measure that I cannot to close here inside. Yeah, here. It's I, I will show you that here with the clean bag. It's this easy. is also important that you have these, I say, slots now. Or p uh, p uh, the perforation. The perforation yeah. that these are in the right position, isn't it? Yes, because inside it's a vacuum. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the disposal bag will yeah. shrink together. Okay. And then you will lose the complete suction power. So do you please have, do have few more things what I have uh, to do when I uh, put a disposal bag inside? Yeah. So please look that the perforation is inside yeah. and on the walls. Yeah. And also, please look that these metal pins yeah. are not covered with the plastic. Okay. Because we need that yeah, to This turn is my it connection on. for the yes. uh, anti-static and so on. Power right. anti-static. Right. Perfect, Frank. Yeah. This is the pr thing what you have to look. Mm -hmm. And later on, you can take your disposal bag, you close it, and then you can put it away mm -hmm. without breathing in all this fine super. dust. Super. Okay. I close we it. Close it. And so you see, we have here long neck sander with light, with eccentric for perfect movement on the surface and last but not least a vacuum system that helps me to use on the seal on the on the uh, wall in a really easy and convenient way yes but when i finish with my work yes this is nice <laughs> now i uh, no. <laughs> this is really nice but I, I need now a, a ski bag or something else that <laughs> i can that i can transporting that no that's the good thing <laughs> we can disconnect all the parts okay and I will grab the sustainer because now we have our new sustainer. I will put that a little bit in the Oops. back. This here is our new sustainer XXL generation 3. Mm -hmm. And when I open it, you can see immediately we have enough space to put in the complete planics mm -hmm. and also the second extensioner, mm -hmm. but what I say, that's not included. But mm -hmm. included, it's also a five pack of granite P180 and these straps. Okay, I see it here. Perfect, Frank. These are these straps. They are also included. The straps are here to connect the wire with the hose. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. perfect. So and that you have always included. this wire, the, the cable, always in the hoses. Yeah. Perfect. And it's complete included. So, yes, I, I see. I want to remove that now. So, this way, ah, no. doesn't work. So That's what I say distance, before. Distance. Then I do it here a little bit more and yes. it works. Perfect. So, one for you. So I put it inside. Next the one is the extension. It's the extension also for yeah, this. We right. have our place. Then we have here. Yeah, you have to disconnect this. Here and here. Like that one. Perfect. And also for our end piece, we have our place. And now Super. you can see everything fits in perfect and we have much more space also a cleaning set d27 fits in perfectly when i have to clean up later when i finished my job site and i see inside on the lid is also a kind of manual yeah quick uh, guide. in which way you can work in the easy way and which kind of abrasive you can use yes and this is i think also really helpful yes 
for my understanding. How to connect, how to uh, to adjust uh, right. the vacuum, and how to adjust here all the with the hose clip on the handle. It's everything explained well. Perfect, Dino. Last but not least, I have here a <laughs> sustainer too. Can I connect that with that big one? Sure. Let me show and tell me what is inside in this uh, in this other sustainer, no so I can connect in this way. You can connect for it transporting, in this way. for example. Oi, hey, cool. <laughs> and what is in here? I will remove it just a second, and I will open it. Ah, all these nice abrasives in different sizes with different grid sizes. Yes, fits in, and I have always every grid size what I need at my job site with me and stored well inside a sustainer. That means when I have to, 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 to send today yeah. drywalls or plastered walls, I have to grab only my sustainer with my abrasive, my Planix, dust extractor. my dust extractor, and you have finished to work. And I can go to work and finish my job. Dino, yeah. thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a good job. Yeah, <laughs> because it's so nice to work with this. So, hey guys, you can work in a really easy way with that light. Sure. We, we save really time and of course money for That's that. That's important, yes. Then with that uh, eccentric sanding, we have nice surfaces, Perfect really nice, nice surfaces in a really surfaces. quick way. Yeah. And last but not least, the vacuum system, which helps me to use that Planex long neck sander on walls, on, on seals, and totally in a system, sustainer, three generation, with the dust extractor, I think, yeah. Was will man mehr? <laughs> Was will man mehr, the German <laughs> the guys German guys. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much for watching us, and yeah. thank you, Dino, for this uh, good presentation. Thank you for having me here. And see you next time. See you next time, and stay healthy. Bye-bye.